Well, good morning. I thought I'd do a short video this morning on how to properly align and true up the wheel on your grinder. This is my oldest grinder. The first thing you want to do when mounting these is make sure that these flange washers are flat and deburred so that they'll sit the wheel will sit flat on them. Then what I do is I rotate the wheel by hand and I touch it with a pencil. And you try to find the high point. Uh, it should leave a high point at one point. Loosen the nut up, rotate the wheel, lock it back down. You'll probably have to do this several times to get it running pretty close to true. Then it may wobble left to right a little bit. If it wobbles left to right a little bit, you might be able to correct that by putting a little shim on the inside. I usually use tape or paper to just barely shim it up. You don't want to do this very much because tightening the nut down with a big shim in there could actually crack the wheel, and that's not good. I originally bought this little T-shaped diamond hone from Woodcraft, and I thought it was used to true and clean the wheel. So I would set it down here on my guard, and I'd turn the grinder on, and I'd touch it very gently. You can see that my guard was broken, and the T-shaped thing is bent. <laughs> Uh, I don't recommend that. What I recommend, if you're going to try using one of these, is to use your tool rest, set it on the tool rest, and then gently move it back and forth to clean it. Now, this will clean the wheel, but because it's handheld, it'll push it back and forth, and you won't ever get a true running wheel. The best way to do that is to use some sort of jig. The original one that I built was a copy of the one-way jig. It has a little bar in there. This little metal piece sits on there and the diamond hone sat in here and you move it back and forth. The problem with this jig was my piece of metal was too thin and it would flex and so you still wouldn't get a really true running wheel. So then I built sort of a copy of the uh, Geiger diamond wheel. I took a piece of plastic decking, I drilled it, I mounted a diamond hone on a piece of all thread rod and I put some nuts on here to adjust it and this would slide back and forth and true up my wheel and it worked pretty well but I don't believe you get quite as good a cutting action with the diamond pointing straight in. So I eventually broke down and actually bought the Geiger Solutions truing hone. This one sits at an angle and lets it run across like that. You adjust this in until it just touches the wheel. Then lock it down. Turn the hone on. It just barely touches so I make a little more adjustment. A little bit more. I'm going to be real gradual with this. And all it takes is one or two passes after you get adjusted right to really make that wheel run true. You'll notice with the wheel running true, there isn't any bounce. The tool just sits on there. That makes it much, much easier to find the bevel so that you're running flat and makes your grinds much simpler.